Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Blood Samurai. My name is Sam and today it's been a while but I'm back playing the roguelike mod. So yeah, so at the start we get to choose between two towers. One of them is a hero. So I'm obviously going to go with Sada. So that gets... Oh, my bad. I forgot. I have the faster forward mod on so that's why everything like freaking was at light speed there for a second. Um, but yep, yeah, so this is the mod that, you know, literally turns the game into a roguelike. Um... So, yeah, so at the start, you get to choose between two towers. Like I said, one of them is a hero. Um, every 10, um, 10 rounds, starting at uh, wave 5, for whatever reason, it starts at wave 5. But after um, 10, but every 10 rounds after that, you get uh, to select a new, um, uh, a new tower to add, and you'll get, you know, an assortment. So you get five, you get five beast handlers, four dart monkeys, one bomb shooter. We're gonna re-roll. Um, heli pilot. Um, heli pilot. That just so that'd be IFR. So that would that would be camo or boomerang. Boomerang could be good. Um, for like later on, especially if we wanted to get really Dominus, if we got the chance of that. That would uh, allow us to hit leads. So yeah, sure, we'll go with that. We can still upgrade stuff, so... Definitely going for the upgrade. Now we have that. I th think. I think regrow regrow balloons come soon. I'm not sure if there's some regrows. That sounds really bad when I say it that way, but. He'll be able to help out pretty well with regrow balloons. So I'm not too worried. Yeah, let's go for valuable bananas. Just so it's earning a little bit of extra money. I don't think we need to worry too... Oh, never mind. Okay, we're alright. Definitely will need a bit more... Probably a camo detection at some point, but... Spike Factory could be good. Wizard Monkey. Honestly, all of these would be good. Alchemist would allow us to deal more damage. But that's only... A... All the Spike Factory. I think I'm gonna go spike back. The spike factory is just like a good like backup, just in case something happens, you know. So I'm gonna just go for it. I get pops leads, it pops camos, pops camo leads, like, and we got. Phase, so yeah, so we definitely am going to need. Yeah. Bike Factory might be my only way of actually being able to really deal with the phase boss. Better spot for it would have probably been like right up here. But if I can get the phase boss low enough. That by the time it reaches the spike factory, it's able to, you know, like, you know, just die to the spikes. That would be great. Here, let me really speed things up. Because it's really just Sada that's actually attacking the face boss anyways. So, like... Okay. Is it taking enough damage, though? I'm not sure. Don't I have a bad feeling that it's not. 
Oh, it is. Okay. 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 We're good. Okay. Yeah. So phase is um quite the worry. Actually, just just camo balloons in general are actually quite the worry. Don't need to worry about leads. Leads are no problem. Now we get to unlock another tier. Monkey sub, nah. Monkey village. Now that could be good, especially for money generation. Yeah. I don't put camo on this guy, but I want to get Monkey Town for these for these guys. Oh yeah, I forgot Sada's abilities. Uh, Sada's ability can just pop camo or pop leads anyway. Actually, it wasn't really that necessary to get the thing. Definitely dead. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, if I hit continue, that doesn't break things, does it? No, it doesn't. I, don't think. Okay. I was a little worried that it might break stuff if I did that, but I think it's alright. I don't think I can really do anything different, though. I don't... I, I don't... Wait, what? I used Sada's ability and that did it? Huh? I used Sada's ability before, and that wasn't enough. I'm so... I'm confused now. Um... Probably gonna go for Monkey Sub. Actually, let me buy that first. It's really going to come in handy. Probably normally would be able to fit like a ton of them in here, but like you could probably fit six, but I'm not putting these in the most optimal spot. I don't really care that much. I'm so confused about why I lost there. Like, like I used Sada's ability before. Did I use Sada's ability before? I thought I did. I thought I used it like multiple times. And it just, like, what? I. Anyways, I wonder if these stack. Like, if you have multiple monkey towns, does it stack? Probably not. Like, multiple monkey town abilities probably don't stack. Or, like, uh, 
status effects probably don't stack. That is something that I am actually now curious about. Nice. Here, yep, and then we get another hero. Adora could would actually be pretty good. Is there any? I don't think there's really a hero that we want other than Adora. So just go with Adora. Why not? Adora is pretty strong, so it's not like I'm like upset about it. Now I just need another tower because I don't, there's literally nothing that I can actually spend money on at this point. Like, I have more money than I can spend right now. Um, banana farms don't really, again, don't really need money generation. You know what, Spectre could be good. Spectre could actually be pretty good. Go for it. Do I have enough room for both? There we go. Inspector got that huge buff as well, so like... Spectre is actually going to be pretty crazy now. Yeah, the Spectre still has its never miss targeting like attack, so it's actually going to be pretty crazy. You know, now I'm not as against having like a banana farm or something. Like I actually feel like a banana farm would be pretty good right now. <laughs> Although the Monkey Town is definitely coming in clutch. Like, it's doing pretty good work at making me money. I wish I wish the Monkey Village would tell you how much money it's made. Like, like uh, it should, like, I wish it would, like, calculate, like, all the extra money that's been made based on the towers and everything that's in its range. Ninja, Boomerang, Helipilot. Mm. Oh, Druid. I should have probably gone for that boomerang. But I was hoping for something a little bit better. But it's alright. It's not the end of the world. Top path. Druid. Probably get a, another specter. Would probably be better. Um, Heart of Oak. For every life gained from the start of value after the upgrade lost. Ah, okay. Let's go with that then. So yeah, I mean we have a very diverse like upgrade pool which i'm happy with especially against the dread balloon so yeah now military can attack it but we still have you know heroes we still have um still have primary still have magic so like we do at least have a like wide variety of stuff that can at least still hit the dread balloon Red balloon should get destroyed pretty soon. Yeah, now it's magic that can't hit it, so the specters are back to doing a crap ton of damage to it. Can we go with... Yeah, let's go with Wing Monkey. <laughs> Wing Monkey is going to be so much better. Oh, gosh. Oh, 
Oh, they can't hit camo. Hmm. Can I sell it and then get my... I can. I forgot that they wouldn't be able to hit camo. There we go. Now they can hit camo. Which I'm not sure if, ha if these guys hitting camo is better. Eh, it probably is just because of how good the specters are. Wizard Monk too, because now we're into like the tier 5 territory. I can get three more monkey subs. Man. I could try to go for the Paragon. Yeah, there we go. That would actually be a good idea, I think. Let's start preemptive strike. Okay. I guess let's try to just save up for preemptive strike. Although yeah, now stuff is not really getting that many. Let's just put this guy like up there, just so that the monkey subs can still you know deal damage. Because otherwise they. Can really can't. Definitely need more money generation. So, you know, when I passed up those banana farms, probably was a bad idea. But, it's alright. We'll, we'll learn from it. We'll learn from it. Because how, how often are you going to get offered banana farms? Now that I'm thinking about it, probably not very often. Monkey Buccaneer is probably my best option in terms of money generation. At least for now. So I can get some like actual, you know, farms down. More farms. They are so expensive though. Can I get rid of this guy, maybe? And then move him down to make things cheaper? Maybe that would be a good idea. Let's do it. That's probably a bad idea, but... This doesn't seem like that bad of an idea, right? I might be saving money, probably not, but there's a chance. Man, he, he's gonna deal a ton of damage to the... ...to Lunarius, I just realized that, yeah. That is dealing a ton of damage. Oh my gosh, that actually pairs so well. Because, like, obviously he does a ton of damage, so then Blunarius sends out, like, a huge wave of... Wave of... Wave of... Balloons. And then you just get, um... Sada to... Use her ability, which cleans up everything. There we go. Put Churchill right there. I think it's just tier threes that makes cheaper. I don't think it's tier fours. I'm pretty sure. Tier three or less, yeah. Which kind of sucks, but it's alright. Ooh, bottom tier spike factory. Order. I'll go I was hoping for a farm. But, alright. Twenty other merchantmen with a number of merchantmen? 
Does that count with the favor to trade? Or does that only go for... What did I even... Oh yeah, I used uh, Adora's ability. So like, the, so like the trade empire, that counts toward favor to trade, right? I'm not sure. Ooh, that would be for... I mean, got, I have some monkey... Got some specters, they got a ton of pops on them. Go for the paragon. So I really don't have enough money for it. Which is the main problem. I don't have enough money. Oh gosh. I need farms. Where are my farms? I want farm options. Give me some op give me some options for farms. Please. Please game, give me some options. The AD on round 95. That's pretty crazy. Five rounds before it's supposed to show up. Yep, that's got me a little a little worried. Um farms. None of those are farms. All of these are pretty bad. Beast handler probably bad. Sniper could be good. Um, okay, they can hit the camera. I'm gonna just do this. Oh, wait. Um, no, 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 no. Um, I forgot. I have. How many of these? I don't remember what. I think I think it's middle path, right? No, it's bottom path. Oh wait, no, I didn't. I didn't even need to sell that. I could have kept that because it was bottom path. I was thinking it was middle path for whatever reason. But yeah, elite defender and then top path is what I have for these. Guys. Using all my abilities, I don't, or I don't even remember what happened to me. Even do. Sada's basically doing nothing, but it's okay. Nice. Try to save up some of my money. Could have gone through to the forest and then put that next to my farm. I put some dirt next to my farm, but didn't really think about that. It's all right. We should be fine, I think. I hope. Praying. <laughs> I mean, I have all of. I mean, actually, I have flying fortress. I could try to save up flying fortress. Bike factory top path. The thing is, I need some arms. Oh my gosh, I'm not getting arms. Go for the boomerang though. I know barely every boomerang I have, I didn't go for that path. Other than this one, I like debated on it. Really need farms. Really need farms. Cause like I have so much stuff, but there's like there's absolutely no way of me actually being able to afford these things. That's the problem. It's like yes, there's definitely better towers and upgrades and things to go for, but I can't afford it. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a farm at uh, around 150. I'm, I'm betting on it. 
I'm betting on it. Round 114, I'm gonna get a ball. Honestly, I might go for free at this price. Right. Uh, because, honestly, first strike capability, actually, I mean, first strike capability, I'm definitely gonna want that before round 120. Like, a few of them, I think, would be really good. Monkey, what, I, what am I gonna do with that? I mean, the thing is, though, Moab Assassin would actually be good. What, what, what am I doing? Or Moab Eliminator. I think. That actually does. Not sure which was better. Maybe extra range. More popping power. I don't know. No idea which is better. All I know is I definitely want. Um, popping power for Moabs. Because I need that popping power to be able to beat, you know, a, a boss. Moment. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna grab the tech box. So I just put them on all of them. Why not? Just have a build. Yeah, just have all of them. Yeah, Balloonarius does not stand a chance right now. <laughs> oh, poor Balloonarius. He's just getting absolutely demolished. There he goes. And then we get another. Hey, let's go with Benjamin, even though he's not really going to do anything. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of the roguelike mod. I've showcased this mod before, but it's been quite some time. So yeah, I just wanted to come. And I come back to it and just try it out again. It's, it's always a pretty fun mod to use, and I highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys can play with it yourself. And yeah, uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.